I'm going to show you how to total the hours of the week off of a timesheet using the offset function. First of all, let me show you what I've done on this, this timesheet. This timesheet starts on March 1st here, and then it continues till the end of March. Up on uh, the second row, I have a weekday function. So it's basically telling me the weekday of the 1st of March here. And so through conditional formatting, I have the weekends grade so that you know what, what, which are the weekends on, on the chart here. Now, um, what I have done, the client that I was working with the other day, they wanted their hours totaled for the end at the end of Saturday. So I've used the offset function here. So it doesn't work um, when your Saturday is just one day because it's trying to go back seven days. So that's one a caveat for what I'm explaining here to you. But what I have done here, on the Microsoft calendar, um, seven is a Saturday and one is a Sunday. And so if the day number is seven, then this formula is, so if K2 equals seven, then um, we're going to offset uh, K, K2 by three. So we're going down one, two, three, and then we're going to go back six. So one, two, three all the way back to six and then we're going to sum these up to a total of seven and if it's not um, if it's not a seven then you're going to put nothing in here so I have dragged this across now um, I want you to look at the formula I have uh, I have absolutely referenced half of this cell, so I put a dollar sign in front of the 2 because the weekdays are always indicated by the 2. And then because of this, the other ones all, all change. So if you notice that the second one is K2 and then equals 7, and then it's gone down to K3 so that it, it's offsetting correctly for all of, all of, the, uh, all of the different employees now. now if uh, I have also on the view menu I have frozen the first column so you go to freeze panes and you go uh, first column so now if you want to drag across to find out how many hours you need to pay on the ninth you would just have you bring the ninth up to there and there there's your hours for you on the on the bottom so that is my way of, of summing up your timesheet for the hours for a week I, I will include uh, a copy of the formula in here. I'm sure you can copy it off the screen, but sometimes it, it's easier to do this. Please subscribe.